Hey guys, my microphone does not work super good on the phone that I'm using to record this video, but I'm doing my best with it. So today we have a custody hearing where mom is trying to get custody of one of her kids back. All of her kids are in uh, CPS custody, different places. So apparently this one is with the dad's ex-wife, which is weird. Don't forget to check out my new channel, Mom's Murder Madness, if you like true crime. Representing the child. All right. And Ms. Naranjo, thank you for subbing in today. I appreciate your help. Okay. Mr. Trapp? Yes, ma'am, Yana. Um, I would call Misty Shrek. All right. Ms. Schechter, if you will, please raise your right hand for me. Hang on, Okay. You solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you'll give on trial, or excuse me, in today's hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, Mr. Trachy, may continue. Misty, would you state your first name or your rec your name for the record, please? Misty Schechter. And Ms. Schechter, where do you live currently? In California. Okay. Wildemar, California. I'm sorry, go ahead. Wildemar, California. And are you the mother to Carter Craddock? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Ms. Schreger, where, who do you live with? I live with my boyfriend and his parents. Okay. Um, are you currently working? At the moment, no, I'm not. I'm a full-time student in college for nursing. Okay. How long have you been nursing student? I just got enrolled on, I believe, the 7th of this month. Okay. So have you started school yet, or are you going to be starting school? I'm going to be starting here in a few weeks once everything's accepted. Okay. Um, how long have you resided in California? Since March 4th of last year. Okay. Um, and before that, you resided where? Shamrock, Texas. Okay. Um, have you, do you have custody of your children right now, or you have um, visitation rights? What is your I have, Sorry. I have visitation rights to Carter and... Um, Tyson, I'm supposed to have visitations, but his dad has been interfering with child custody for the last four years. And you, when you said Tyson, is that your older child, oldest child? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And y'all, do you have a third child? Yes, his name is Jacob Craddock. He's also in uh, CPS custody right now. Okay, in a different county, correct? In Potter, uh, no, uh, Gray County, I believe. Gray County, okay. <laughs> Um, what are your visitation rights to Carter? First, third, and fifth weekend of every month and alternating holidays. Okay. Um, now, did I see that you stated you had Carter in your care for about six months up until April? Um, almost six months, yes. Okay. Um, if your visitation rights were set up that way, why did you have him for six months? Um, Jacob moved out here with me willingly. Uh, I picked up Jacob and Carter on November 1st in Blythe, California. Okay. And on November 13th, there was an incident that happened to the point where Jacob had to be removed from the home. And because Jacob was homeless... I kept Carter because here in California, if you do not protect your child, you can go to jail. It's called um, failure to protect. Okay. When that happened, Jacob was removed from the house. There was a restraining order placed on Jacob against him or for me, Carter, and my aunt that lived in the home. And that was up until April 5th, where Carter was taken off due to lack of jurisdiction for Carter. What do you mean taken off? 
he was taken off the restraining order because Carter wasn't here for six months to be a legal resident of California. Okay. And why did, and you returned, Carter returned to Texas April, around April 12th or so? I believe so. Um, why was he returned then? Because of the court order, the custody order out in Texas took uh, jurisdiction here in California and I was following court order. Okay. So you voluntarily returned him? Against my best judgment, correct. Yes. Okay. Have you had any um, CPS cases called in in California? Uh, there was one by the police officer that came and picked Jacob up because there was um, the court order from Texas. I guess it was mandatory. I have the the record here from that from that incident where he stated that he had to call because of Jacob stating that he had custody of Carter and that I wouldn't give him back. So there was a open case on that, which Carter was left in my custody and the case was closed. Drug test was done. Everything came back normal. Everything was fine. And then I had a case open here for Carter. I want to say in February. So Carter could um, talk to CPS and make them aware of what was going on with dad. And then I think there was another one that was called in for lack of income in, on November 21st. May, 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 may it please the court, and I apologize for interrupting, but a lot of this stuff is hearsay, Judge. I mean, when I'm hearing something was called in, somebody said that that's just that's just blatant hearsay. Well, I, I agree the way it's been phrased. And she let's just have Mr. Trout ask some different questions because she obviously does have some personal knowledge as of this since she was a part of that investigation. So um, let's let's just shorten things up, Mr. Trout. I think if you'll just ask the sector, he's going to ask you some, some very specific questions. Just answer just that. Let him come back to you with another question. Okay. Yes, and that sir. should solve our problem. Misty, the first case was called in due to the incident that happened. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And the, what is your knowledge of what was investigated on the second incident? Your personal knowledge, what were they looking into? Jacob Craddock. Okay, so they were looking into dad? Yes, sir. Okay, and the third incident, um, what specifically, your personal knowledge, were they investigating? Jacob Craddock. Okay. You said lack of income? Yes, sir. And what does lack of income mean? What do you mean? that I didn't have the means to provide for my child due to not having a job. Um, were those, all three of those cases closed out? Yes, sir. Were they, what were the findings on those three cases? I can't remember the words that they used, but they left Carter with me and found that he was best, it was in his best interest to be with his mother. Um, no, you said you're not working right now. When was the last time you worked? September 19th of last year was the last day that I had a job. Okay. And what were you doing? I was a host and uh, food prep at a Italian restaurant. Okay. Um, now you were going to be starting nursing school, but you haven't worked since September. Why have you not worked since September? Jacob contacted me stating that he would be there with Carter and I was going to be a full-time mom while he went to work. Okay. Um, and that ended in November? No November 13th. Okay. Why haven't you worked since November? I have been receiving state aid and trying to 
me find the right words for this. Um, I have been tutoring my son every day due to the how far back he is in Carter. schooling. Yes, Carter Craddock. Are you um, capable of working? I am. Okay. Does you say you live with your boyfriend? Yes, sir. How long have y'all been dating? Uh, December, since December. Okay. When did you move in? Beginning of March. Okay. Um, does he work? He's on disability, but we do, I do odd jobs here and there, like mowing, weed eating, and stuff like that. Okay. And you live with his parents? Yes, sir. Um, do they support y'all? Yes, sir. Um, do you have the means to take care of Carter on your own right now? On my own, like without them? Yes, ma'am. To be for you to be a parent to Carter on your own. Could you do that right now? If I don't go to school, yes, I can. Um Does your boyfriend have any criminal or CPS history? No, sir. Does his parents? No, sir. What does his parents do? Uh, his dad is, what is, he, what is, I don't know if they'll know what that, he works for North. I'm I'm sorry, you, who are you from? speaking to? I'm sorry. Yeah, Michelle, my boyfriend is right next to me. Okay. You just, just tell us what you know. You you really can't get any help from somebody in answering these questions. Just okay. if you. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, he works for the satellites for NASA. Um. Do you have any CPS history in Texas? I do. And where what is that for? Um. The allegations were domestics and um, okay. against you, me and my ex-husband. Yes. Okay. Um, was there just at that time? No, sir. Was there domestic at that time? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you ever been a user? I have in the past. Yes. Okay. When's the last time? three, four years ago. But I used marijuana. Uh, the last time I used marijuana was September 16th of last year. That was before Carter was out there? Yes, sir. Are you still, are you still married to somebody else? At the moment, yes, but I'm gonna. Um, I will be officially divorced on August twenty first of this year. And where does that person live? Where does your husband live? He's in jail in, I believe it's Houston. In Houston. I believe so. Okay. Either Have you Houston already... or Austin. Say that again. I'm sorry. Either Houston or Austin. Um, okay, Mr. Trout, let me stop you because I'm very confused about some relationships here. Ms. Schefter, when you said, well, it, it, in response to his question about CPS history in Texas, you'd said there were allegations of domestic violence and drug use between you and, I thought you said your ex-husband. Are you referring to Mr. Craddock? Are you referring to the man that you're married to now, soon to be ex-husband? My soon-to-be ex-husband. Okay. So the CPS involvement had to do with those those Texas cases had to do with you and the soon-to-be ex-husband. Yes, ma'am. What is his name? Glenn Cataret. Can you spell the last name? C-A-D-O-R-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Okay. 
Were you and, and Mr. Craddock ever married? No, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Trout, but that I just wanted to clarify. All right. Yes, ma'am. How long have you been married to Glenn? Uh, March third or March first was five years. No, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yes, five years. Okay. Um. So you and Mister Craddock were together before you married Glenn. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. You have filed for a you had filed for a modification in a attorney general's case for your custody of your child. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And when did you file that? Uh April 19th. Um of this year. Of this year? Yes, sir. And Has the department asked you to screen for him? No, sir. Would you be willing to? Yes, sir. Um, if Carter was to be placed back in the home, placed back with you, um, would the your boyfriend and his parents be willing to be interviewed for that? Yes, sir. Um, when's the last time you saw Carter in person? I believe April 12th, as Jacob was driving off with him. And that's going to be my next question. April 12th, Carter came from California back to Texas. How did he get there? I. They were in a white car as they were driving away. I don't know how they got there. They? Who is they? Jacob Craddock, some blonde lady that was with them and Carter Craddock. Um, where were they driving away from? The Lake Elsinore Police Department. Okay, why were y'all at the police department? That is where we decided to have our designated drop-off and pick-up. Okay. So you and Jacob made a decision to meet at the police department for you to hand Carter back over to Jacob. Yes, sir. When we had court on April 5th with the, the courthouse out here, that's when it was decided that we would meet up at the police station at here in Lake Elsinore because there is an active restraining order against me and Jacob to where I didn't want him knowing where I live. Okay. Um, so when he was out there in November till now, you you were moved in with your boyfriend in December? May. May I mean, March, I believe. March, you said. Yeah, sorry. So Jacob doesn't know where that address is. Is that what you're saying? As far as I'm understanding, no, he does not. Okay. All right. Um, if the court decided today for the department to have temporary managing conservator, would you be willing to work services and cooperate with the department? Whatever you guys need, I'm willing to do. Okay. Um, when do you have court for your other child? Tomorrow. Um, and is that child also Jacob's? Biological son, yes. Okay, and is that Jacob Jr.? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um and do you have custody of Jacob Jr.? I have my legal rights. Um there is there's confusion on what's going on because I was told that if I didn't sign the paperwork that he would have been removed from me, but there the judge or the the person that I've talked to, I'm not sure if it was a judge or a lawyer, said that it was a willing removal. So I'm I'm 
honestly confused on this situation when it comes to Jacob Craddock Jr. How long have you not had custody of him? Four years. Okay. Um, in those four years, have you tried to figure out your confusion on that? Yes. Um, Jacob Craddock himself has told me multiple times that I've lost my right, that there's a DNR. He's told me multiple times that Jacob has died. So I had my parents, my sisters, and uh, my friends messaging the nurse that had Jacob Craddock Jr. and trying to get information on him through them. And is there any way that we can have Jacob Craddock mute his self? Uh, his moving around his phone's a little too loud. Yeah, and, and you're going to need to back up, Ms. Schechter. I, I didn't hear quite all of your answer, but I'm not okay. sure the court reporter did either. Okay. Um, can you ask the question one more time, please? In the last four years since you have not had custody of Jacob Jr., have you tried to figure out and get an answer to your confusion? I have through, um, I've tried calling Dean, which was my family-based service lady, and she never called me back. And when I called Susan or Susan Kadena or Barbara Tennyson, which are the two nurses that were taking care of him, the, the minute they left, they blocked my phone number, they blocked Facebook, they blocked anything to do with me. Um, anytime that I've called a lawyer, lawyers, when it comes to a special needs child that's on life support is 50 to 60 grand. And at the moment, since up until recent, I haven't had the money to provide something like that for my son. And every time that I've asked Jacob Craddock how, how Jacob Craddock Jr. is doing, I've been told, well, he's in the hospital, he's dying, either that or he's dead. So the last time I was told that he had passed away, I called the Social Security office and asked, what is what is really happening? What's going on? And that's when they opened up this investigation on Jacob Craddock Jr. In all of that, did you ever come out here and try to go visit with him? I was told in the beginning that if I was to show up, that Susan Kadena or John Kadena would shoot me. And out in Texas, I don't want to take chances with my life, especially since I know them personally, and I do believe that they would. So the answer is no, you have not gone out to see your son. I haven't been allowed to. Okay. You still have your rights? I do. Okay. Do you have any visitations? I'm supposed to be able to see him every Thursday and um, go to all doctor's appointments, know of all doctor's appointments and hospital stays and med changes and allowed to help with his care if needed. But that's all been denied of me for four years. And you haven't gone back to court on that? No, we go to court on tomorrow. But in the four years, you have not taken no, any sir. action to see your son? No, sir. Um, so currently, are these the only three children you have? Yes, sir. And currently, you don't have custody of any of the three children? No, sir. Mm. Um, outside of the modification for Carter, have you exercised or taken any legal action to get custody of your children? Not at all recently. I haven't had the means to. Okay. Um, you had the means to move to California a year ago? I uh, My aunt paid for that. I'll pass the witness right now, yeah. Okay, and I just, I just need, I want to clarify just a couple other things. All right, so the child that is under the Gray County 
CPS case. Which which child is that? Jacob Craddock Jr. Okay. That's the child that that you've been talking about that has the is is medically fragile. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that, that I understood that correctly. Okay, great. And then the other child is where? Tyson or Tyson Young is with his father in McLean. Okay. So, so Jacob Jr. has been under the department's care for quite some time then. Um, he was with a nurse. Uh, I'm not sure if he was under CPS care or her care. Well, does the, do you know, does the department have permanent or, or what we would call permanent custody of that child? I'm I'm not sure. Like I said, when they when I talked to the lawyer and to the CPS worker, that they said that they gave guardianship conservatorship to Susan Kadena. And that's the nurse. Yes, ma'am. Was she also a foster parent? No, ma'am. She was just a nurse that was taking care of him before he was removed. When was he removed? Uh, November of 2019. Okay. All right. So it's got to be a PMC case. Sounds to me like. Um, okay. Uh, all, what that means is it's not, it is not an open case like what we're here to decide whether this one's going to be it's that that's old enough that 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 case would have had to have had a final disposition in it so so probably the department was named pmc in that case but i okay and, and it's of nominal i mean or, or a minimal relevance to what's going on with this child but i'm just I mean, some of this is just confusing, and I'm trying to make sure I have my facts straight. So, okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Mr. Trout, you can resume your questioning. I'll pass the witness at this time, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Burfield? All right. Um, Misty, um, if you'll do me a favor, um, and just uh, uh, um, if you have any questions about my question, just I'll rephrase if I need to. Um, currently, um, you've stated you're residing in California. How many people reside in the home? Including myself, there's four. Okay. And who, who names who resides in the home at this particular time? And please use names. Okay. Clyde. That. That is my boyfriend's father. Okay. And he's the person that works uh, for NASA, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And now, and um, who is the next person that lives there? Michelle. Yeah, okay. And is that uh, Clyde's wife? Yes, sir. Okay. And does she work out of the home? Uh, no. She sells doTERRA oils okay. on her website. Okay. You reside there? Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. Um, and who, who else resides there? Richard. And is that your boyfriend? Yes, sir. Okay. And how long have you been residing in this residence? Since March of this year. Okay. And um, would you describe the residence for the court? Is it a home? Is it an apartment? How many bedrooms? Would you please give a description? It's a four-bedroom, two-bath, double-wide on about an acre of land uh with an apartment um up above the garage there's what we call the coca-cola room there's the thomas kincaid room 
there's the Paris room, there's the kissing kids room. My room is brown room, which is where there's, um, it's safari themed. And then we have Clyde's office. There's. Let me ask. Okay. That, that I think. Okay. So it is a, it is a single family dwelling with plenty of room. Correct. Okay. Carter resided there for a while. Is that right? Yes, sir. What were the living arrangements when Carter resided there? Um, Carter and I shared a room up in the brown room. And that was just until Richard was going to move up into the apartment and I was going to have Richard's room. That way, Carter okay, had just his tell room. me what happened. OK, OK. You have a tendency to kind of drift off. So I'm going to try to refocus just a little bit. So if Carter would to go reside again, please tell the court where Carter would stay and what the living arrangements would be. OK. If you would please do that. Carter would be in the brown room. I would be in the, in the other room. And Richard would be up in the apartment. Okay. Ms. Now Steffi you're using Ms. all sorts. Sorry? You're using descriptions with rooms that have names on them, which is fine. So the brown room, is that a bedroom? Yes, sir. Okay. So Carter would have his own room. Yes, sir. Okay. And is that room appropriately furnished? Yes, sir. Okay. And it sounds to me like that this, would you consider this to be a safe environment for Carter? Most definitely, yes, sir. Okay. So, um, now, in, in regards to... Um, the your your situation you were enrolled full-time in nursing school is that correct yes sir and that is to start when in the fall okay and currently um have you had without getting into what was said have you had conversations with the deskins about you and carter being allowed to live there yes sir and and as a result of those conversations, do you have any concerns uh, that if Carter were to come back to you, that y'all would you would not be able to provide a safe living environment for Carter? No, sir. I have no concerns. OK, now financially, um, you are are you currently working odd jobs? Yes, sir. And you stated you're getting government assistance. Yes, sir. Is that through the state of California? Yes, sir. Yes. And what assistance are you receiving through the state of California? As of right now, I'm receiving food stamps. When Carter's here, I receive CalWORKs, which is... Now, do you need me to explain that? Is it well, is that a financial aid program? Yes, sir. Do you receive a check from the state of California? It's on a card, but yes, I get up to a certain amount every month. Based upon your living situation with the Deskins, do you believe and your and your assistance from California, do you believe you can financially support Carter at this particular time? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, um, in regards to you, you mentioned that um, you mentioned that you'd be willing to take a test uh, for the court. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And what do you anticipate the results of that test to be? Negative for everything. Okay. And um, does anybody in the home use drugs? No, sir. Okay. Um, so if you were to go to school, and if you, now currently, where is Carter placed? From my knowledge, he's with Jacob's ex-wife. 
Do you have concerns about that placement? I do. What are your concerns? When Carter was with Jacob, that's where she was letting him. Objection, letting him Your Honor. Him. There's been no establishment of personal knowledge. Sustained. Do you, okay. Um, do you know this person? I do personally. I know her. Okay. Um, do you have any personal knowledge about any uh, events that may have occurred regarding abuse towards Carter? I do. I have text messages between me and her. Objection and... hearsay. Well, she hadn't said what hadn't tried to say what the messages say. She can say she's got text messages, but that's not hearsay. So, oh, thank, you. thank you. Um. Okay. Do you believe Carter would be safer with you than the current placement? I do. Is that because, do you believe you have a stable home environment where you are right now? Yes, sir, I do. Do you believe, based on the relationship between Jacob and the individual with placement right now, um, that that is not a good situation? Objection, Your Honor. Lack of personal knowledge or information is based on hearsay. Sustained. Are you asking that Carter be placed with you? Yes, sir. Do you have any personal knowledge of domestic between you and Jacob? None that was reported other than November 13th. I didn't ask you if it was reported. Okay. Has, has has Jacob ever done anything to you that would be considered domestic in your opinion? Yes, sir. What? Physically striking me over my head. You currently, you mentioned a restraining order. Do you recall yes. that? Yes, sir. Um, is that a restraining order? Describe, is that a restraining order between Jacob towards you? No, that's a restraining order I placed on Jacob. That That's what I'm saying. Oh, is yes, sir. You placed, okay, and, and, and that got granted. Yes, sir. Is that because you fear Jacob? I do, yes, sir. Okay. Do you have concerns that that could be happening in other places with Jacob? Objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. She, that's not speculation at all. If she has concerns, she has concerns. You can express she has concerns. I'm going to re-ask my question. Do you have concerns because Jacob you that that could be occurring to other people? Yes, sir, I do. Do you have concerns about Carter being placed in that type of situation with someone involved with Jacob? Yes, sir. Now, in regards to um, your court case coming up in June, um, you you did you you filed that petition in intervention? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And do you believe it's in Carter's best interest for you to have custody of him at this time? Yes, sir, I do. And why do you believe that? Because he has a stable environment. He was he had his roots grounded here with doctors, dentists. He made all his appointments. He was making friends. He was going to the park. He was he was three meals a day. He didn't have to worry about where he was sleeping. He, the punishment was no physical punishment. It was all room isolation. When I say isolation, you have 30 minutes in your room, no TV, no tablets, no phones, no toys. You get to sit on the bed. And when you come out, you tell me what you did wrong. 
or you get to hold a log up for 30 seconds. There was no physical punishment here. Due to Let me ask you this. Um, um, he was was Carter enrolled in school? Yes, sir. He was. How was he? How was he doing in school? It was very difficult getting him caught up to where he needed to be. So when he was in possession of of his father, when 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 Carter came to, to live with you, was he behind in school? Yes, sir. And was he in the custody of his father at that particular time? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you been um, and you did have you been tutoring him? With yes, with the help of others. Okay, what other people were helping tutor him? Uh, Michelle Deskin, his teacher, did a little extra work with him at school. Um, when she had free time, she would do speedy reader with him. She would do flashcards with him, as to where she was supposed to be doing book work or something. She would spend more time with him, seeing how far behind he was. Now, are the Deskins educated individuals? In other words, do you know if they have college degrees? Uh, I believe, yes, uh, Mr. Deskin does. Do you know about uh, Miss Deskin? I never, I honestly have never asked her that question. Okay. Has she, have they assisted you, uh, the Deskins, in, in helping Carter and his educational needs? Yes, sir. Have they provided a good support system for you and Carter? Phenomenal, yes. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe that you and Mr. Deskin's relationship or your relationship with the Deskins is in any jeopardy that you would have to leave there at any time or any time soon? No, sir. Okay. Um. Now, in regards to you mentioned doctor's appointments and dentists, while Carter was in your in your uh, care, custody and control, did you make sure that he went to the doctor? Yes, sir. And was and did you make sure he went to the dentist? Yes, sir. And how is his health right now? At least the last time you saw him. He has asthma, severe allergies, <clears throat> which was, no, I'm not going to say that, um, to my knowledge, which was we lost the dad. Yeah, we, yeah, we've lost Mr. Uh, Craddock. Okay. Okay. Um, let me do, I want to do this um, while we're waiting for him to log back in. Let me just interject. Y'all, I, um, you know, had no idea that this was going to take as much time and obviously we're not anywhere close to finishing this. Um, Mr. Trout, I have a question. If you can provide an answer, how long does it take the department to run criminal history information or any CPS history on out of state residents? I will. I'm not sure. I, I can ask Ms. Joyner. She's owner of the supervisor real quick, how long that would take. Um, as far as criminal judge, we can get it fairly quickly. Um, they do live in a state that does not provide um, history, CPS history without a court order. Is there any way that I can help with that? Well, hang, hang on just a second, Ms. Schechter. Um, so when you say pretty quickly, Ms. Dora, what are you talking about? A court matter of days? Um, like on the criminal, no, I could um I could have it requested right now and it's just a matter of a special investigator getting it back to me. So like we're talking about a few hours? Probably not even that. Probably maybe 30 minutes. What uh, okay, let me ask because I've got I've got a final and another hearing scheduled that we I really need to get taken up. Um, this is more of a question for the lawyers. Can you all resume this at, say, you know, about 1.30? 
Your, your Honor, I am actually I'm actually at Randall County Courthouse. I have a plea. I may have a contested motion to revoke. The plea won't take any time at all. I just get it done. Um, I can get that done here momentarily if we recess. It would probably be later in the afternoon because I also have a motion to modify bond reduction um, at 1.30, but I don't anticipate that taking a, a whole bunch of time. Um, but, I mean, I, I can reconvene, uh, but, um, you know, because this is this is important. Well, it's I just a matter of me getting this. I'm just booked. I'm kind of booked like you are today. Well, like two o'clock, maybe. Is that a possibility? I, I probably. Uh, 2.30? Yeah, 2.30 would be better. Ms. Ronho, Mr. Nowak. Well, one one thirty is better, but in deference to Brooks's schedule, um, I can make two thirty work. Let's well, say we start looking for a different day. Yeah, I, I mean, just in case. I, I I do have a number of questions for the current witness. I, I'm sure that you do, and and um, you know, we haven't even gotten to your client, and we haven't gotten to the department folks. I mean, you know. I, so I think this would, even if we get started at 2.30, I think it's going to take the balance of the day. Um, if, and, and I may, I may or may not have an interruption somewhere in there. I, I don't know that yet. So we'll just stop where we're at at this point. Um, Because Ms. Taylor will not be back with us that day, does everybody know where we've left off? Yes, Your Honor, I was, I was asking questions. Yeah, just as long as you make a note about where you were in your questioning. Ms. Taylor, it would be yes, helpful. Would you just tell me what the last, kind of what the last question and answer was? Hang on, I got to go back through all this. I believe, Judge, I was just going through who who was in the home and 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 I kind of kind of that situation. Yeah, and talking about severe asthma and what Correct. the other son's conditions were. Yeah, medical needs of Carter. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it off then. Uh, Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, my apologies, and uh, we'll see everybody back on the 4th at one thirty. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, okay. everybody. Thank, Thank you.